What's up? This is Squad Twenty Four Forty, where I'm following Skyter Sound Team Art Reviews. Today we'll be taking a look at Flatbed Semi Truck Backhoe, a few tractors, and a little boy. All of the links can be found down below in the description. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a 2012 Ram Regular Cab Flatbed. This is a single rear wheel, not a dually, and it is color changeable, which is great for changing for all of the different company colors. Up front here, it has a very nice chrome grill, color matching bumper, and this pretty interesting push bar here, which is nice. Now, the wheels do come out past the fenders quite a bit. These are custom wheels, custom rims, and just take a look at that. Very nice stance of the truck, pretty wide, and then you guys can see great tires there now this does not indicate what it exactly is so this could be potentially a 2500 to a 5500 which is great you guys can see the axle here is a single rear wheel like I was saying a bit earlier which is pretty cool you won't be able to haul as much but I still like it and the exhaust is before the axle which is also a bit interesting when you do come around to the back very nice looking bed you guys can see a lot of diamond plate which is uh, very interesting and you you got black uh, siding here, which is a great option. And shout goes to different beauty modding for releasing this. This does look pretty cool having that toolbox. It looks like you guys can see working straps, which is also nice. Fire extinguisher, a little bit of protection there for that back window. But overall, very nice looking truck. And now we'll be hopping here on the inside. This has a top speed of 76 miles per hour. And it looks like some of the lights do work on this, which is pretty cool. Reverse lights, everything like that. And I mean, this thing does look pretty cool. Now, it does show a few different options. Options, but it looks like none of them are working, which is a bit interesting. As you guys can see, great looking stands. Take a look at those lights up front. Whoa, take a look at that. Custom LED lights. That is pretty cool. We'll now be taking this for a spin to see how this handles. I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the support here on the weekly mod reviews. It's a ton of fun. We're reviewing mods that get released each and every single day, but it looks like mods have been slowing down just a little, so you guys will be seeing less and less mod reviews just because I don't want to be uh, doing reviews on only a few mods. I want to do at least a round five mods per review, but I do appreciate all the support, and it's just a ton of fun showcasing all of the modders work. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a cat ct660 semi truck which is pretty cool we did take a look at all of these different options last a mod review with the different beds and i did forget to add this one into that one so here it is very nice looking one great looking grill you guys can see those hooks up there nice looking lights and take a look at these very interesting rims i do like these wheel textures a lot you guys can see all of the different lines pretty cool and then when you do come around here to the back take a look at that nice cat now these do move back and forth which is pretty realistic and I mean the stance of this truck everything about it does look pretty cool two beacon lights up top once we hop here on the inside view top see it is 75 miles per hour all of the lights do work on this which is nice you guys can see two beacon lights up top which is also nice to have when you are hauling it and let's kind of take a look here at the first person view working steering wheel working mirrors and working gauges we will now be taking this for a spin to see how this handles if you guys do have any cool mods you guys would like me to feature here in reviews, always let me know down below in the comments. I do look at a lot of different modding websites trying to get the best mods to feature. And I will be kind of looking into featuring more farming equipment since I do a lot of uh, trucks. I think it will be nice to kind of switch it up, do more logging and farming equipment. So let me know if we should do that. I would keep wanting to bring you guys more and more reviews, showcasing it, and bring you guys uh, some pretty cool mods. So it's a very easy thing you just go down below and I uh, download these mods which is pretty cool up next we'll be taking a look at a very nice mod which is a cat back how big shout goes to wood metal farming for releasing this this is one epic backhoe now up front you guys can see it does have a tractor front loader uh, uh, attacher so that's what you will be attaching to which is pretty cool like I was saying big shout goes to him it's a cat 420 F uh, I mean that is pretty cool looks like it's a 420 fit which is pretty cool and now there are different uh add strips you could get for it which is nice and you do also have the option on not getting this back out which is maybe for hauling or if you just don't want it and a few different LED light bars up top but as you guys can see great amazing textures I saw this when he originally posted the first picture and I was amazed this thing is epic and I can't wait to add this you guys will be seeing some videos within the coming days on this but take a look at this guys this thing is amazing looks like it does 
have the preparation there for tongue if you do want to add that which is a very nice so up next we'll be hopping here on the inside top speed of 38 miles per hour you guys can see this is pretty cool we'll kind of just pull forward here just a little bit and we'll kind of first take a look at all of the different lights as you guys can see turn signals up top pretty realistic there which is a nice and when you do press home that LED light bar up top does turn on which is pretty cool like we're saying a lot of different options there in the store on the first person view no working steering wheel but this is one amazing view just take a look at that pretty epic so up next let's kind of just take a look here so with mouse controls you can actually move these up and down take a look at that you can move this one up and down kind of uh, do that which is nice now like we're saying mouse controlled it which is perfect really do like that a lot next when you do press X the stabilizers both go down to the same height and you guys can see it looks like it just went in the ground a little As you guys can see, it is very level here. It looks like it's sitting pretty level also. Up next, we'll be kind of switching this over here. So when you do press left control B, the seat will turn around and the controls will slide. So as you guys can see, that's pretty cool. And the person is now there. And then this camera view does also change, which is nice. And now we could use this. So as you guys can see, this does fully tilt all the way it rotates. Take a look at that. Can't wait. I can't wait to feature this here in some videos. Big shout goes to Wood Metal Farming for releasing this. And then with uh, both uh, buttons pressed, you guys can see this one will move there and everything like that. So like I was saying, can't wait to use this. And this is going to be one epic back. How amazing textures. And like I was saying, the link to this will be down below in the description. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a compact Massey Ferguson tractor, which is pretty cool. This is a little bit on the older side tractor-wise. There's a few different ones, but I will be showing you guys this one just because it kind of goes along with compact tractors maybe for, for landscaping or small kind of mowing if you would like very cool you do have that little roll bar there and this is in uh you will have to buy this which is nice and overall this thing does look pretty cool once we do hop here on the inside goes 23 miles per hour all of the lights do work on this which is pretty cool nice first person view you guys can see take a look at that i actually did feature this there in a landscaping video but i thought i just had to feature this in a video so as you guys can see, once you do disconnect it, take a look at that. I mean, that is pretty cool. Very interesting uh, disconnecting. Just take a look at that. Once you do attach, the stabilizers go away. Those come down. So overall, very cool tractor. And I will be featuring this here in some videos. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at another tractor, which is pretty cool. It's a Valmet, which is nice. It looks to be a bit there on the older side, which is nice. It's great for doing some old landscaping or just renting it. And I really do like this a lot. It is too wheel drive and you guys can see very nicely done top speed of 20 miles per hour and it looks like it does have a few lights and it, you guys can see a few on the front and a few on the back which is nice up next we'll be hopping here in the, this cat semi truck and it, we'll be taking a look at a new low boy this little boy is color changeable, which is uh, great. I really do like kind of changing the colors to different ones. And it does have a lot of different options, which is going to be nice. So it's going to just kind of walk through all of the different options. So when you do press Z, the ramps will go down. When you do press X, it does have a lock load, which is going to be nice. And let's just kind of take a look at this. So with keypad 4, you can narrow the ramps. I mean, that is a bit interesting, having those ramps kind of slide back and forth. You guys can see making it wider, which is also a very cool up next when you press the period you guys can see it does kind of remove that uh shelter there if you did want to put anything there which is nice and it looks like add rear support so with rear supports you guys can see when you do flip those down that is pretty cool how that does work and you could also do side extensions so Side extensions here, RB, which is pretty cool. As you guys can see, it does add wood there to make it a bit wider to haul those wider ones. Very nice looking here on the wheels and all of the lights do work here, which is nice. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.